And Prahlad Maharaj says that Sarvatra Labhati Daivat Jathadukha Matatnata Tatrayatana Kattatra Jatra Ayut Bayokra. If you waste our time, which is every one of us should always be conscious that this human form of life, although the body is material and there are so many material demands, so we have to think, we have to uh, adjust things in such a way that my uh, major portion of my attention or energy may be employed for advancing spiritual consciousness of Krishna. That should be the motto of our life. Because we have got limited energy, limited life. Uh, suppose you have to live for hundred years. I think nobody is going to live for hundred years. But supposing if you live for hundred years, so your energy is limited. Your duration of life is limited. Uh, suppose I am old man. I have to live for, say, eighty years or ninety years. So seventy-two years I am now. That means I have already died seventy-two years. The balance portion of my life I have to complete. We are dying every moment. That is medical science. Ah, we are changing every moment body. And then dying every moment. Death has, is accompanying me from the day of my birth. Ah, this child, if you ask, how old this child? Oh, it is one month. That means he has already died one month. One month, death is already there. We say that he is uh, growing. No, he is decreasing. Decreasing. Actual fact is decreasing. Therefore we should not waste our time. We should be very serious about our life. The Prahlad Maharaj says, Tatprayasana Tattabha Jatva Ayudva Yopara. Ayu means duration of life. Simply wasted. Uh, simply wasted. Why simply wasted? Because for sense enjoyment, whatever you have to get, that is already arranged. Uh, if, you, if you are a cat, uh, your sense enjoyment is already arranged. If you are a dog, or uh, your sense and already are. Similarly, if you are a human being, your sense and sense. If a cat can have sense enjoyment without arranging for it, if a dog can have sense enjoyment without arranging for it, do you think that a human being will not have sense enjoyment without arranging for it? Then why should you waste your time for sense enjoyment? The arrangement is already there by nature. A man or woman has to satisfy his senses. By nature there is arrangement. Rest assured. Don't waste your time for improving things in God. That means wasting time. You cannot get more than what is destined to you. A dog or a cat cannot get more sense enjoyment than his, his body will allow. Similarly, we have got particular type of body. According to our association with different modes of material nature, now we have got, say, about 100 men or 50 or 60 men sitting here. Nobody's body will be just equal to the other's body. You examine? Everybody is different from other's body. Nobody's face will be exactly the face of the other man. So by nature's process, the subtle law is such nice that according to the association of the modes of material nature, you have got a particular type of body. That means you are meant for a particular standard of sense in general. Suppose your body is born uh, in a low family. Oh, you cannot expect sense enjoyment uh, as, as the higher great person they enjoy. That's not possible. Uh, so one should be satisfied. Oh, Krishna has given me this body. 
and he has given me this arrangement of sense on that, let him sit My real business is how to advance my Krishna consciousness. So Pullan Maharaj advises very nicely, my dear friend, tat prayasana kattabva jata ayut bayoparam. Don't uh, exert yourself. Far. Increasing the paraphernalia of sense in the event, that is simply wasting your valuable time, your valuable duration of life. Because we must know the duration of life is limited. That will finish as sure as death. And before death comes again, we must prepare in such a nice way. No more death, no more birth. That is education. Therefore Bhagavad says that he is not a spiritual master, he is not a father, he is not a mother, he is not a friend. In this way he is not an husband who, who cannot protect his world from the impending death. That means the father, uh, the spiritual master, the husband, or the protector should be so spiritually advanced that he will teach his protect his work in such a nice way that no more birth, no more death. In this life, Krishna consciousness education is finished so that after living this body, tattā dīham punat janma naiti. After quitting this body, no more birth again, then what is that? Sattādi haṁ punat janma naiti māmeti kantya. He goes back to God. This should be the, uh, I mean, say, objective of human life. How to develop Krishna consciousness and how to get away from this uncongenial atmosphere of material existence. Unless we understand that, uh, but the people, they think that they are very happy. This is illusion. This is maya. Tatprayasana kattapva jata ayuparma na tathavin nare chemam mukunda charanam vijam. So, uh, Prahlad Maharaj says, natatha vinnate chemam. Chemam means hospicity. Uh, the highest hospicity of life is to reconnect his lost relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead or Krishna. This is called yoga. The real yoga means this, that we are, at the present moment, we have lost our uh, consciousness. Not actually we have lost our consciousness, we have lost our memory. Consciousness is there, but we, uh, consciousness may be uh, different, differently contaminated. Uh, different person, your consciousness may be different from my consciousness. You are thinking in a different way, I am thinking in different way. Similarly, consciousness is there. Yeah, that is the symptom of life, since our spirit so. But uh, the difference is due to material contact. Oh. Oh. Just like uh, um, superficially your blood and my blood, uh, the same. Red. But if we analyze, oh, there may be so many chemicals present in your blood and so many chemicals may be present which is not exactly equal. Similarly, uh, as soon as there is life and there is uh, spirit, so the focus of the spirit soul consciousness must be there. Oh. I am present in this body, how I can understand? Because this consciousness. You think any part of your body, you feel uh, this is your consciousness. That means 
I am present in this body. And as soon as I am away from this body, you may cut this body into pieces, there will be no consciousness, there is no feeling. 